going on guys man oh man i'm trying to get nice and warm right now guys because we got a little uh a little snowstorm coming um it's more so going to be uh more of a icy slushy conditions on a road per se than snow gotta hit up to home depot to grab some uh some salt because my my uh driveway it's it's got a steep uh, as you enter the driveway. So I'm going to pose a hazard condition um, if the male lady tries to walk up the driveway or walk down the driveway. So I gotta, you know, make sure my uh, driveway is as safe as possible. And uh, it's, a, it's a long driveway, I'll tell you that. So because it's not gonna be that much snow, it's not really, uh, you know, how does this tundra ride in the snow? It's more so gonna be how does the tundra ride in the icy slushy conditions with mud terrain tires. Whenever I tell someone I have mud terrain tires on, and they're like, man, you don't really get that much grip in the, you know, the snow and in the icy conditions. I hear that it's really bad and you just be slipping and sliding and you need to get some all-terrain tires and... <laughs> Man, somebody needs to do some research because there are some good mud terrain tires that you can drive around all season and not have any issues. And another common thing when it comes to mud terrain tires is that the summer, people are always like you got those mud terrain tires on in the summer and they just gonna burn up on the ground because the summer ground is you know the street is really hot your tire tread is gonna be going down there you go with that listen to people and not doing your research <laughs> before my tundra i had my land cruiser and this one shop and they was like so hesitant. They was like, no, you shouldn't run mud terrain tires on your Land Cruiser, it's a four wheel drive. And you're gonna be back here for new tires. And I was like, man, put the tires on. Put the tires on. And sure enough, man, the, man, that, that the Land Cruiser was killing it. Killing it. Killing it so much that when I came back to the shop, I was like, what's going on, man, what you doing? I see you got your Jeep out there, you know, lifted with some, uh, some mud terrain tires on. He's like, yeah, man, you know. I had some all-terrain tires and uh, they weren't cutting it. And I, I remember you and I will always see you drive up and down the street, driving up and down the street. And, you know, I never see you get stuck. And I'm just like, you won't. <laughs> it's a Toyota with some mud terrain tires on. Like, come on now. <laughs> but not not to really knock any, you know, uh, uh, car manufacturer, you know. Jeep, Jeep's got some really good stuff. Uh, but his was uh, Jeep Liberty when they first came out with their little small form factor Jeep Liberties. And you guys all know that Jeep Liberty stock, the little small Jeep Liberties, uh, you need to do something to them. All right, man, we're going to start this video off different. Now we're going to do a cold start. Because we need to get our Tundra ready because it's about to snow. Got some uh, slush coming, guys. So we're gonna do a quick review of how this tundra runs in the slush. These are the oh, goodness, brightest crap. But those were our. running lights, LED running lights. Trust me, she likes to, she likes to eat. She likes to eat the dirt. And the beautiful thing about these tires is that they clean up really good. Stock exhaust, that sounds pretty damn good. It's, it's basically a true dual, uh, dual exhaust here, then it converts into one. What I wanna do is add another 
uh, pipe on the other end and put a uh, little, as a matter of fact, a little flow masses on here. Doors is locked, so I can't really show you. Don't mind a mess. Yes, it's dirty. I definitely use my truck and then I eventually clean it. So this is the Flow Masters FX. Um, it's got a wonderful sound, deep, but not too loud a sound. It gets deep um, as, you know, the more you push your throttle, the deeper it gets. That's what I love about it. But if you're just like, you know, lightly cruising, it's, it's not gonna be that loud, so. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. But the problem is, is that um, I need to actually get the pipe, the piping for my truck, um, a complete piping, uh, because the exhaust shops around my area, they really don't wanna do any custom exhaust, but you know, that's another video to come. All right, all right. Yeah, we definitely need to add some gas up in here. And yeah, she's getting warm. All right, we could definitely lower the heated seat function. 75, that's still a good temp. Nice and warm. All right, we could turn this light off. Oops, you know what, I gotta turn the light off from here. Let's see our cab. Yeah, yep, there we go. So, got our Put LED lights on for comfort. That's, that's all it does. Is it gives you it gives you that luxury comfort. That's no horsepower. That's just all luxury comfort. <laughs> but uh, let's head down the road, by. guys. I love to drive this in sports. Uh, it's just it's it's. Uh, I can't explain why, guys. I really don't. <laughs> what a wonderful evening this is. Uh, as you guys can see, by the road conditions, we got some slush, we got some ice, uh, a little bit of snow, un unplowed snow, you know, on the sides. But uh, for the most part, man, I'm, I'm loving this, man. I absolutely love this. Uh, I actually drove my Tundra out of, uh, you know, the parking spot where typically when a uh, snow plow comes through, uh, they usually, you know, you guys can't really see it over there, but they usually uh, plow you in. So, this being the Tundra, I was able to easily pull her out without a struggle. Without a struggle, I tell you. All right, guys, we are turning into a parking lot that's not fully Oh yeah, partially plowed, but I'm pretty sure back there it's not fully plowed. Oh, let me turn this music down. I don't own the rights to that music. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, we're in a parking lot where it's partially uh, not plowed back there, but you know, it's been raining, so let's put this thing in drive. So I previously had it in sports mode and reason why um, is because in sports mode you can basically control your you know your gearing so I put it in sports mode just because of that um, and the reason being also is because I was going down a hill so instead of put my foot on the brake and break it down a hill, which, you know, could have also uh, potentially led to, you know, my anti-lock brakes, you know, kicking on, which I always experience whenever anti-lock brakes kick on, for some reason it does a, your brake pedal does a, you know, and it kind of feels like you're sliding more. So you kind of let go and then brake and then it'll, you know, it'll smoothly brick. But anyway, um, it's freezing cold out here, guys. Um, it's nothing but slush and nastiness out here. And I think we got a little, let's see, let's see the vehicle over there. They might be doing a little dry humping. Um, well, they might be doing a little, you know, a little quiet time over there. Anyway, um, this is the Tundra. And as you can see, this is, 
nasty conditions out here. You know, of course, this is not that much, but it's that slush, it's that ice, you know, that type of stuff. But um, thus far, I mean, the truck, man, she's she's handling, she's handling like it's nothing. You know, again, I got these uh, mud terrain tires on here. Let me turn the light on. All right, there we go. We got a little light. We got a little light. So that's what we're rocking off of. These mud terrain tires. Um. There it goes. RDR, red dirt, road, MT. With the off-road wheels. But uh, yeah, man, it's freaking cold out here, babe. And she is absolutely loving it. See that tire? See how clean it is? See how clean it is? Come on now. That's what you need. Just look at this. Look at this. Traction. Look at that. Traction. Come on now, that's what you need right there, baby. So, let me hit on down the road because I'm cold and I ain't trying to get a cold during this COVID. Lock her up and let's roll. All right, so hopefully the video does not come on. Um, I'm not doing any drifting or anything of that nature. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys They doing the little, they doing a little quiet quality time over there. I tell you that for a fact. Uh huh. I see you guys over there in that Honda Civic trying to turn the light off. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, guys, I am rolling. Ooh, big. I'm hitting, I'm hitting the wrong window. It's a little uh little something something over there all right so going up that thing is slow oh, look out now you guys want to move out the way look at me turn the lights on now and now you guys want to move So yeah, you guys kind of get the get the logistics. If you own a Tundra and you got some mud terrain tires on, you're absolutely good to go. Of course, it's always that initial. If I stop, it's going to kind of the rear is going to kick it. So just try to let off the gas, and I'm gonna give it gas. There she goes. She kicked it. She gave her the little kicking. Gave her the little kicking, baby. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Um, the reason why I'm recording is because you know I've heard some good, great, great, great things about the tundra and the snow. Um, and I've drove some other trucks before, you know, um, just work-related trucks. And I can tell you, man, they don't they don't handle so well. Uh, of course, they weren't Toyota. But um, this puppy here, she she runs good. She runs absolutely good. And uh, I forgot to mention that we are in two wheel drive. As you guys can see, two wheel drive, not four low. And she's handling it like a beast. But of course, I'm driving safe. Driving safely. I'm not driving like a, a crazy maniac. I'm just cruising. Not giving it too much throttle, I'm just cruising. So, 
hopefully uh, this video was kind of helpful. Um, sorry that I don't actually have a video of, you know, outside the truck. Because uh, I, I, I personally, I love those videos when I see an actual truck, um, you know, actually driving in the snow. Um, many of the times the in vehicle driving through the snow, it's, it's not enough. You know, you kind of want to see how she's really doing. So, but you know, it's just myself. So, and I don't have a tripod, so I can't really, can't really show that to you guys. Let me get on over here. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go grab my food and uh, head on home. So you guys be safe and enjoy your day or night. Peace. Finally made it to Home Depot just in time. Big old girl got three bags of salt because that's how big the god darn driver is so uh just get her stacked up in there and get on down the road yeah fellas let me tell you guys these 3m winter construction gloves are a lifesaver waterproof super duper warm so they're extremely big, but they are super duper warm. Perfect, perfect.